What's up, Skull Collection? Welcome to another day of gaming with Chinkuza. Today, we're going to be coming at you with some more packing of cracks. We've got Magic the Gathering. We're going to be p cracking open some Double Masters again. Still searching for those uh, elusive rares, especially the Borderless Force of Will. That, To be honest, I have yet to see ever. And we're even going to open up an entire booster box or collector's box of Zendikar Rising. We've got them all set up, lined up, ready to go. We're going to uh, go ahead and start jumping into the crack. And as you can see, we've got the double master set up right here in front of the camera. We got two of the booster drafts, um, draft packs. We got two regular... Uh, sealed packs and then we got over here the collector's uh booster box so we'll be cracking that open last hoping that we can uh pull more of those elusive rares that we've been looking for for quite some time all right first box or pack we're going double masters and i just dropped my other pack down um Gonna go ahead, crack this open, pull the uh, token, and we're just gonna flip through, see what we got. We got a dark steel axe. We're just gonna go quick because we got quite a few. So I'm not even gonna list them all off. So far, not bad. Got that Balduvian Rage. I love this card, the uh, Ar um, Argivian Restoration. Into our Uncommons, we got that Is It Charm. Another Onagin uh, Onaginata. And we've got a Well of Ideas, a Mirror Battle Sphere. A foil fairy me uh, mechanist and a foil Kozilek's predator. Still not a bad start to the uh, video. Opening up to uh, really good rares. Very, very highly sought after rares. So not bad right there. Let me grab some sleeves. Because as you know, I sleeve all my rares. Doesn't matter what the cost. So, got to go ahead and sleeve them up. And bring that over there. Where's the other pack I dropped? Alright, the other single pack with the two rares, two foils. All right. And then we go toss the token to the side. Hurt this village. That Teamer Battle Rage. But yeah, we're, we're sitting here. We're looking, trying to grab. This is actually a really good value set if you're uh, looking to uh, find something that has value, if you can get your hands on them. They are getting less and less frequent, uh, frequent to find. Um, I had to travel all over. I went and it took me... Three different Walmarts to get the few um, double masters that I do have. And we're into the uncommons. And we got a Thespian Stage. Not bad, not bad. And another Bosch Iron Golem. A Foil Dark Steel Axe. And a Foil Exploration. That's actually not bad. It looks pretty good. Uh, we got a little bit of white up in the top corner right there. Um, that 
would knock it down a bit. But all in all, that's not a bad pull. Grab our sleeve and a hard sleeve for the uh, foil exploration. I would actually run that in my lands deck. I would, I would. All right, for the other two rares. So this was a triple rare pack. Good value right there. Can't believe we pulled that foil uh, exploration. Now we're on to the first Double Masters uh, booster draft pack. Let's see what we can pull. I'm hoping... I'm still trying to find that borderless... Uh, Force of Will, it's, that's the card to uh, pull right now. Sitting at almost $200 before getting graded. All right. Here we go. But, uh, yeah, so if you're looking for a good value pack and then wanting to be able to play modern and some of the older formats... This is the, one of the best sets to go for, along with Modern Masters. Um, has a lot of really good stuff in it as well. Um, and it's not super expensive, you know. You, you do get, you're, you're going to pay a little more than normal. Um, Golem Artisan. But it's worth every penny. And we got a regular exploration. Okay. A Sundering Titan. A Foil Supernatural Stamina. Foil Dark Steel Citadel. All right. So we've pulled today a regular exploration and a foil exploration. Looks like we're, we're heading in a good direction. And that was the first pack out of the uh, Booster Draft pack. So on to the next one. And as per usual, I will go over what uh, rares we pulled and what good pulls we had. Starting off with another Heartless Pillage. More Teamer Battle Rage. But yeah, like... Um, as far as trying to get into some of the older... Hey, Brainstorm. That's always a good one. Um, this, this is one of my favorite sets so far that I've been able to open. I'm actually looking forward to the uh, next set coming out. Uh, Commander Legends. That looks like it's going to be full of value as well. Another Is It Charm. Brimstone Volley. And we got a Salvage Titan. A Terastodon. Foil Ancestral Blade and a Foil Brimstone Volley. But, um, it's just all, all in all, this, this set, I, I, I say it's a pretty good draft set as well. Um, and like, like I said, no matter what you get, how much you get, it's worth the extra pennies because you get value. I mean, almost every card you pull in this set has some value in somewhere for a deck. Trying to get it to uh, focus. We got that Pyrite Spell Bomb. Crusader of Odric. Veteran Explorer. Lightning Greaves. Ghastly Hulk or Glass Duct Hulk. A Cascade Bluffs. There we go. That's like a $6 card right there. And a Tempered Steel. Holy crap. Foil Eager Construct. And a Foil Maelstrom Pulse. Oh, man, it's not the most expensive card, but, oh, look at how pretty that is. We got 
little bit of whitening up in this corner, but I was able to wipe it away. Centering looks a little off uh, left to right. It's a little more so on the right. Uh, top to bottom looks fine. On the back, yeah, see, you got that whitening right there, unfortunately, in that corner. Um, and again, no, the back actually looks pretty well centered. It's just the front that's a little off, which sucks because being a foil that, that does take part. So, uh, that would not be one I would send off. I mean, it probably would come back with a halfway decent grade still like a nine flat, possibly a at the lowest at 8.5 but I, I wouldn't ship it off all right and then the last booster draft before we get into the Zendikar rising collector box that was a pretty sweet pull though that foil maelstrom pull not a super expensive card but you know it's so pretty it just sucks that the centering was off. All right. That copy token. Let's see what we get out of this one. First pack of the second booster draft box. Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. I do like that Apprentice Wizard. The Volshock Gauntlets is pretty good. Our Uncommons. A Kragenwick uh, Cremator. An Oblivion Stone. A Foil Executioner's Capsule. And a Foil Cogwork Assembler. Not super horrible. But again, not the best. Alright. Oh, that didn't open the way I wanted it to. I'm just going to slaughter this pack. <laughs> and y'all get to watch it. Alright, second pack. And then we're almost done with the Double Masters. And that Force of Will still ever elusive. I'm starting to think I'll probably never see the Borderless Force of Will. I hope that's not the case, but that's how it's feeling. But, uh... And then we'll start opening that collector's box, uh, booster box of Zendikar Rising. We got a Beacon of Unrest. That's not bad. Kimbaka Regent. Skinbrand Goblin uh, Foil. And a Foil Open the Vaults. Not bad. That Kimba's a good pull. I like the Kimba. Too bad it's not a Foil. But it's all right. As you can see, though, you get plenty of value. You get plenty of cards that are staples. And for the older formats, um, especially modern and um, legacy. So I, I do recommend if those are formats you want to get into, this this be a set to, to utilize. And if you can find any... Uh, Modern Masters 2015's got a lot of good stuff. Salivating Gremlins. I just love the name. Revoke Existence. Always good. Volshock Gauntlets. I've got like 50 million of those. Culling Dias. Vampire Hex Mage. Gore Clan Rampager. A Rugged Prairie. And another Tempered Steel. <laughs> foil Driver of the Dead. And a Foil Cathedral. Um, Cathodian. So we we still are not able to find that borderless force of will, but we had some pretty good pulls. Not gonna complain because uh, some really good stuff came out of today's double masters openings. Um. I especially love 
the foil exploration. That's probably the best pull we had today. Such a beautiful card. Then you've got the Rugged Prairie. Tempered Steel. Beacon of Unrest. Kimika Regent. Foil Open the Vaults. Craig and Wick Cremator, Oblivion Stone, Cascade Bluffs, Tempered Steel again, a Foil Maelstrom Pulse that's slightly off-centered, Salvage Titan, Terastodon, a regular Exploration, Sundering Titan, Thespian Stage, Bosch Iron Golem, Well of Ideas, which is a great card, and the Mirror Battle Sphere, one of my favorites. And now, the moment we've been waiting for. The Zendikar Rising Booster Box. Zendikar Rising Collector Booster Box. Alright. So... Very beautifully packaged. And we'll be pulling from there. Let me move some stuff to the side real quick. And we'll start with the uh, box toppers. There's only one card in each one of these packs. And uh, you can get any numerous different cards. And uh, they're all really good. Usually worth... Holy shit! A sea of clouds! That's pretty. All right. That's getting a hard case. Like I said, these are always usually worth some pretty decent money. Uh, this one, if I remember right. Well, actually, I'm not going to start quoting prices because I don't have it completely memorized. But that's not bad. All right, the next pack. Let's see what we get. If I can figure out how to open the damn pack. All right, and it's a Morphic Pool. Hell yeah. That one too will get a hard case. These Expedition Lands. There we go. First pack. All right. So we got the Cliff Haven Cell Sword. All foil, mind you. Foils of Adventure, Song Mad Treachery, I love it with the Song Mad Runes, that Foil Island, there we go, a Borderless Yasharn, that's a pretty good one. And a Foil Ancient Green Warden. Okay, we're start off to a really good start. That's probably the most expensive card in the set, if I remember right. The Ancient Green Warden right now. So, we'll put that in there. Showcase cards. And we got a Showcase Sky Shade and a Foil Showcase uh, Skyclave Squid. Foil Showcase Mammoth! And then the Double-Sided Token. All right, this one's going to have to get, because Double-Sided, we got to give it the Clear Sleeve. Let's check this one out. 
The Kazandu Mammoth. Looks like it's got a little, just tiny, small amount of whitening up to the top. The centering looks fine. Centering looks fine on the back as well. Actually, it looks really good. So, we at least got that going for us. Throw this in the top loader. Boom. That was beautiful. And then that Skyclave... Um, Shout out, uh, Frick, show, uh, showcase, Skyclave. All right, let's see what we get here. Gonna have a boatload of foils, I'll tell you what, but I am okay with that. Foil planes. And we got the borderless, yep, borderless um, Tabarax Hope's de Demise. And I can't speak. And a foil uh, Phylath World Sculptor. That's pretty sweet. All right. See, these collector boosters, th there's a lot of value in these as well. Uh, going into the showcase. Uh, we got a regular showcase uh, Kazandu. Where'd I do with... I put it way over here. Out of reach. And of course I just dropped them all. Wouldn't be a Chinkuza stream if I don't make some kind of mistake, right? Ugh. Where's the top on this bitch? There we go. Doesn't quite properly fit it, but it'll work for now. Oh, and we got the Crag Barons. We got the Crag Barons borderless. Uh, foil on top. Hell yes. Oh, man. That's going in the top loader. Pick up this mess real quick. I dropped all those penny sleeves on the floor. All right. I made the world's largest mess. Let's go into pack number two. This one's going to be a pretty good sized video, by the way. But we're going to try to go through it as fast as we can. Iridescent Horn Beetle, the Lowell Mage's dom uh, Domination. And we got a. Nahiri's lithoforming uh, borderless showcase. Then foil aura, which was also the uh, buy a box promo, so it's not got a lot of value, but hey, I'll take it. Lotus Cobra! Hell yeah, we got the freaking showcase Lotus Cobra. Frick yes. This is amazing. This has been one hell of a box. Oh my god. We got it. We finally got it y'all. We got the showcase Lotus Cobra. If only it was foil. But I will take it. And now we got the foil uh, showcase uh, Sky Skyclave Shade. And I can't English. Good God. Oh, man. I, I can't believe we got that Lotus Cobra, y'all. We got the Lotus Cobra. Probably one of my most favorite arts right there. 
I might have to open up a new box of uh, top loaders. Let's go ahead and drop the token. Riptide, Cleric, Umara. And we got a Borderless Drana. All right. Now we're cooking with Cresco. What else do we got? Oh, we got a Foil Crawling Barons. Not bad. Cousin do showcase. Oh, the borderless showcase bright climb pathway. Oh man, that is so beautiful. And that's getting a top loader as well. Because these are my favorite lands. Then foil dreadworm and a foil borderless uh, or a skyclave hierophant. All right, next pack. Can we keep this hype going? Oh my God, skull collection! We are having a hell of a pull here. Drop the uh, token. Blade gloom hunter dauntless. Uh, Canopy Balith, Pickaxe, Wind, uh, Wizard, Wind Rider Wizard, Forest, and a Borderless Master of Winds. Okay. Damn, this is sweet. Then we got the Foil of Razzle the Split Current. And then for the showcase, oh, we got the showcase, Jace's Mirror Mage. Oh, and the, oh my God, we got it. Oh, Copper Line Gorge, Copper Line Gorge, the, the freaking Expedition Land. Oh, oh man, that is beautiful. We got the uh, Copper Line Gorge Expedition. I think we're going to get our money back today, boys and girls. Skull Collection, I think we're getting our money back. Oh, man, that is beautiful. That was a hell of a pack. That was a hell of a pack. Oh, man, y'all. We got to keep this going. Whoops. Well, we know we, we know what that is. All right, let's see what else we pull. Root Gazer, Predation, Mountain, and we got a borderless Ancient Green Warden. Woo! This is a hell of a box. Oh, man. Yep, we're going to be opening another... Uh, container of top loaders. Jesus. It just keeps on giving. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> I don't want to say it. But y'all know what I mean. Oh my God. This is awesome. Oh man. And then we got the Valakut Awakening. Okay, full on foil. This one's getting the penny sleeve because double sided. And then for the showcases, oh, we got the ruin clap, ruin clap crab, and then we get a branchway path, branch loft pathway. Good God, I can't speak because I'm so hyped about what this box has given me. I love this. All right, and we got the foil Jace's Mirror Mage Showcase. We got it as a foil, y'all. God, man. Skull Collection, we are killing it. We are killing it, Skull Collection. 
Oh, man. I think I have pulled more Mythics in this particular box than I have ever pulled in any box other than uh, Innistrad. All right, next pack. We're almost done, too. Trying to uh, keep it going as fast as possible. We got that Myriad Construct Borderless. Damn, I can't hold on to the sleeves anymore. Then the Arc, uh, Arc Priest of Iona. Then we go into, oh, another Ruin Crab. And then the Felidar Retreat Showcase. Kazandu Necropot. And a Relic Robber. Oh, man. Not, not super high-priced items, but still very nice to pull. Oh, man, y'all. Skull Collection, y'all are seeing it today. We're getting it. We're going to get it today. Man, this is a hell of a box. I love the mouse. And a thieving skydiver. Then we got the Maddening Cacophony. I'm going to set the rares to the side that way to save on time. We got the Borderless N Nissa. We got the Borderless Nissa, y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the Foil Borderless Crack Around Pathway. <laughs> oh, man. This is a beautiful day. This is a really beautiful day. Oh, man. This has been nuts. That borderless Nissa, foil borderless crag crown. Oh, man. That one, she's going in a top loader. And then the Foil Maddening Cacophony. Keep the craziness going, y'all. So, those of you liking it so far, make sure you slam down on that, that thumbs up uh, button. And make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification, because holy hell, there's going to be more to come. You best believe that. Oh, man. Was that two snare caster? No, a blight blade, then a snare caster. Cleric, swamp, inscription of abundance. Foil, Tajru, Paragon. Balith, Geopede. Showcase Phylath, a foil, uh, showca foil Showcase Fledgling, and a Foil Showcase Maddening Concophony. I am going to get every version of all of these. Holy crap, y'all. This is awesome. We got three more packs to go. We are having some hella awesome pulls. Make sure, please make sure you slam down on that like button for all the great pulls we've had. Holy cow. Definitely value. Pretty sure we made our money back. 
Got that Legion Angel. Foil Compounding Conundrum. Borderless River Glide Pathway. Holy. And a border a uh, showcase drana foil. Damn. This is just awesome. And of course I put these special lands in top loaders just because I love them that much. Not net all the ones I put in top loaders aren't necessarily gonna get shipped out. There are a few I will, but not all. But we will get a couple of these uh, graded. That's you can bet on that. Um, just not all of those. That I'm not doing that whole stack. Uh, but this is just it's this has been madness, man. Last two packs. Can we keep the hype train going, y'all? Can we keep it going? That island, we got the Wayward Wayward Guide Beast. Master of Winds. Balakut Exploration. And an Archon of em uh, Emeria. Alright. We're still doing good. I think I'm going to need couple more sleeves but last pack hype y'all again make sure you slam down on that like button hit the subscribe turn on the notifications that way you can get notified when I have more videos of pack openings posted this is last pack can we get there can we get there and keep it going only time only time will tell Rolling Regrowth Mountain. All right. Akiri Fearless Voyager. River Glide Pathway. This is looking good. Needle Leverage Pathway. Borderless. And a Cabinet of Souls. Expedition Land. Holy. No. No. This is actually happening. We got the Cavern of Souls Expedition Land. Oh my god, that's nuts. That's nuts for the last pack, last card reveal of the day. We got the Cavern of Snows Expedition Land. That's insane. Oh, that's going off. That's definitely going off to the, uh, to get, um graded oh my gosh one more sleeve i was one sleeve short oh man that is crazy that is crazy What is up with this? That's two that's been like that. There we go. So to go over some of the big, big pulls. The good pulls, super, super good pulls. We're going to show you right here the stack of top loaders from today's thing. We got that exploration, the first one we pulled. Needle leverage path pathway. That's also pillar verge pathway. It's not bad. We got the River Glide Pathway regular with Lava Glide. 
<laughs> the Expedition Cavern of Souls, y'all. River Glide Pathway, Borderless, Lava Glide Pathway. Looks so pretty. Borderless Nissa of Shadow Bows. Borderless Crag Crown Pathway. Also Timber Crown Pathway. Border, uh, borderless Jace Mirror Mage Foil. Ranch Loft Pathway. Boulder Loft Pathway Side. Ancient Green Warden Showcase Foil. Jace Mirror Mage. The Expedition Copper Line Gorge. Bright Climb Pathway. That is also Grim Climb Pathway. My L Lotus Cobra. Probably my most favorite art in this entire set. Crawling Barons Showcase. Kazandu Mammoth Foil Showcase. Ancient Green Warden Foil. Morphic Pool Expedition Land. And Sea of Clouds Expedition Land. That's the big pulls for the day. Like I always say, I wouldn't be able to do what I do if it wasn't for all of you. So thank you very much for coming out. If you made it this far, make sure you slam down on that like button. Give me that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on that notification. That way you can see more pack openings. And there will be more. And don't forget, you'll, we'll be getting, once the, uh, I'm shipping off cards, once they come back from Beckett, I'll be doing a video of the reveal of their grades. Not only that, um, we, we've got the Pokemon pack uh, openings that we, we're doing as well. You can follow me on Twitch. I'll have the link in the description down below. And um, we, uh, we play a lot of the, we play a lot of Magic the Gathering, Arena, and uh, World of Tanks on Twitch. So go, you can chat with me live there. I also do pack openings during Twitch from time to time. Sometimes I'll sit there, I'll crack a pack for luck. And then I die. But that's not the point. Uh, but yeah. Thank you all very much. I wouldn't be able to do what I do if it wasn't for all of you. This has been one hell of a day. Skull Collection. This was for y'all. Have a good one. Bye.